Hey guys, so I'm walking through building this daily stand-up template right here for you guys if you work in a startup and you do daily stand-ups. And what I tried to do was the following. Here's the problem. If I take this calendar and I want to put it on a side, just, you know, for a column, it won't work. But there's a small, neat uh, hack you can do to enable that. And it works flawlessly. So if I try as well, if I do full width, and then I try doing this thing, it becomes even harder but still not doable. So here's what you wanna do. You wanna, let me just get back to normal width. What you have to do is you have to create a toggle first, a toggle list element, open it up. And what you wanna do is you wanna drop your calendar. Let me do it slowly. So I'm taking my calendar and I'm dropping it here. Empty toggle, click or drop blocks inside. If you wanna check whether you've done it right, if you close it, you should be hiding the calendar as well. So once you're in the toggle, guess what? This now works. I can put this side by side right here and it works. And here's my calendar. Let me make it full width so we can properly see what's going on here. There we go. So now the question is, I mean, you might want to keep the toggle up to you. I won't judge that. But the question is, what do I do? Because I don't want this ugly toggle. Well, guess what? You delete it and it's there. So, um, it works just like that. Or alternatively, you could just take the calendar out of the toggle. Uh, at the moment, I don't know exactly why this happens, but for some reason, this is the way Notion is restricting it. But there's this quick, neat workaround I've just shown you today. And um, this is what we have to do for the one. I expect Notion to fix it at a certain point. But currently, they have bigger problems on their on their table or not bigger problems bigger things to to create such as an offline mode but you didn't hear me saying you didn't hear me complaining uh for the moment this is the workaround and once again if you were looking to learn how to put a calendar view side by side in a column this is the workaround we have to go through at the moment cheers i'll see you next time